Hi YouTube, um, thanks for coming back. I haven't been filming for absolute ages. Um, I've been concentrating on my blog, um, as you may know, and um, I've been featuring a lot of stuff there. But um, I've been missing filming the videos, so I thought I'll do one today. And, and this one is a really special one, because I'm not in my usual setting, as you can tell. I'm in Italy, and we're staying in a really nice farmhouse, and um, yeah. I thought I'll, I'll share with you what I've been buying, especially for these holidays and um, other occasions, summer, summer dresses, summer um, items and um, a little bit of trend as well, but not, not too much, nothing um, over the top, um, I would say. And there are a few pieces that I've ordered um, and they haven't come yet or um, I bought them but haven't brought with me so I will probably do another haul um, in about a month or maybe a month and a half um, before my next holiday and uh, show you what I've been up to. There's few brands in here yet. There is um, Netta Porter so I've been shopping um, quite a lot uh, from Netta Porter which is um, taking my husband over the edge and um, there's um, Topshop um, there is um, one item from Maj, one item from H&M and there is and other stories as well in here so quite a mixture of different things um, but um, yeah let's um, get started everything I'm talking about will be linked below if I cannot there's one item that I got in outlet so if there's if I cannot feature this exact product I will try to feature a similar product or maybe find it on um, outlet um, for you to, to see, have a look and um, I will link my blog, my Instagram and all of my social medias as well in here. So yeah, uh, bear with me and yeah, let's start. So the first piece, um, I start with shoes. Um, so I got um, two pairs of shoes from Netta Porter. And the first one was a full price and the second one was um, on sale. So Netta Porter has got an amazing sale every year. And every year I try to buy a few things um, that I wouldn't be able to afford to buy full price or I wouldn't be willing to spend. But for these, I went full price. So they are these, they are the... Um, the Superstar, um, so Golden Goose sneakers, and they are the simplest design. So they have the the, the star, which is um, a very a characteristic for um, Golden Goose, um, but the star is um, not um, not in a, in a flashy color. So um, normally or you can see it um, either silver or gold or um, metallic colors, metallic green, I've seen it. Um, but this one is very, very unstated, and that's what I wanted. The, um, the, you can see the, the marking, that's all leather, but very delicate, not too much branding. Yeah, and they are not too distressed as well. So with, um, with uh, Golden Goose um, sneakers, they can look really, really, really distressed, and for the amount of money you spend on them. Um, I know it's the look, but it's just for me, it's something's not quite quite right. And um, these do look distressed and um, the edges, you can definitely tell, um, I don't know how to do it, yeah. You can definitely tell and the markings on the leather, um, it's definitely a distressed look, more casual vibe. But you can definitely style it with um, jeans, with shorts, um, I probably will be happy to wear it with dresses as well, with a casual dress like I've got today, definitely. So I will, um, I will, I won't try them on, but I will, um, I hope I can do it. I can place the image of, um, from my blog. So if you're interested in that post as well, you can check it out. Um, I will, I will show you how I style these. And they are still available on Netta Porter. They are full price. They, they don't go on sale because they are classic model unfortunately i've i've um looked and looked and looked for them to come on on sale but unfortunately they don't so um but i was willing to pay full price because um i hope they're going to stay with me for a very very long time and they fit true to size as well well true to size i would say they feel a little bit small to size um so i'm between sizes i'm about between 37 in alaya sandals to about 38 in um jimmy choo's um most most brands uh, isabel marand uh, genevieve rossi 38 is perfectly fine these ones i 
think these are 38, so Italian 38. Um, and they do fit, they do fit, um, but I would recommend to size up half the size if you can. Some of the uh, models, um, they don't come in half sizes. If um, they don't have a half size, I would go to the, the highest full size, if that makes sense, because they do feel smaller than size. They, they are leather and they are very delicate leather, so they do stretch a little bit. For more comfort, I would definitely size, well, half a size should be enough on these. Okay, so the second pair, I'm super, super excited. I've worn lots already, are uh, these. Uh, they are the um, Genvita Rossi sandals. They are f um, flat sandals, so they've got a heel. The heel is about two centimeters, two and a half centimeters most. Um, these are the, the stripy sandals, so they, um, they fasten in here and they've just got um, a very, very simple design. As well, I will hopefully, should be somewhere there or there, there will be an image of me wearing these. They are absolutely amazing. They, they are so, so comfortable. They do demand a little bit of wearing before they become comfortable. So the, the especially this strap can give you a little bit of a pain and um, I scratch my feet um, somewhere in here as well, just on that, on that level. Um, but once they've been wear worn a few times, they, they do do adjust. They fit true to size, 38 is fine for me. And um, yeah, they are extremely, extremely beautifully made. Um, I've been wearing them a lot since I've got them. Um, at least four or five different uh, times. I got them on sale for full price, uh, from full price to half price, so I've paid 50% off the normal price. I don't know whether I will be able to uh, buy or afford to buy them full price because they are um, about over £400, so that's, that's really, really expensive um, for, for the sandals, but um, they are classic. The one that I've got are uh, material, but they do a lot of different versions. There are, they do leather, black leather, they do a beautiful new D rosy um, leather, and um, I have my eye on them, but unfortunately they are not on sale. So yeah, these are absolutely um, statement classic uh, piece, and so definitely worth investing. Um, been really really pleased with them. So that's the second pair. Another item I got from Netta Porter was this hat, okay. <laughs> so this is a classic Panama style hat and this one is from um, Sensi, Sensi Studio and I featured them uh, that in my, well, um, by the time this blog post, it may be already on my, on my. Uh, by the time this video goes up, it may already be on my post. If not, I will uh, link another picture of me wearing it. So it's, um, it's this Panama style hat. It fits me perfectly. Um, it's, it's ideal size. I'm, I'm a little bit, well, I, I, I never knew, well, I, I always knew I wanted a hat, but I didn't know um, which one to buy and how much to spend on it and it's not a cheap hat i got mine i think for about 90 or 95 pounds but since i got it and they brought it back um it looks exactly the same like mine but it's already 135 i think 130 pounds on that porter so unless this is an old model and they just redesigned it and i put it back and i'm not sure but i got mine cheaper than than it is on the website now the uh, the other thing as well with the uh, with these hats the sizing um they have um different brands with different um sizing um dimensions so some are small medium large some um have um centimeters round your head so it's like 54 55 56 57 59 and um yeah it's very confusing luckily for this hat there was just one size available so it's just a one size. So I got one size, I thought one size will fit everybody. And it does fit me really, really nicely. When I got it, it had a little tag. So inside, um, there's just a, a marking, Sensi Studio, it's all handmade. It's made in Ecuador, beautifully shaped, beautifully handmade hat. So um, when I got mine, um, it had a little tag. It tells you the story about the company and who wore the hats um that originated from panama or originated from ecuador um 
and it had a sticker with an M, so size medium, so that's my size. And I think I did some research and it was about 56 centimeters. Um, so um, so yeah, it fits me perfect, you can put it up, you can just keep, leave it like that. Yeah, you can do all sorts of different things with this hat and I've been, been in Italy and I've been wearing it about three, four times already, so um, all day as well. Um, very comfortable and as well I've noticed um, I don't know why but well this I know why. <laughs> they've done um so this is just um, a straw and this is a piece of fabric that goes around it and um, obviously if we wear makeup I was worrying that it will leave the stain on the um, on the actual hat but it doesn't so I think this material is designed to protect uh, from dirt and sweat and 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 all that stuff and it doesn't even mark as well so it's beautiful beautiful really pleased with this so that's the another one from Neta Porter and um, just one more item from Neta Porter I got it at the same time as I got the sneakers is this shirt and this is by a brand called Madewell and this is a denim shirt light denim shirt um, I will I wore it loads absolutely loads and I will link um, the um, the image and show you the image and um, I got mine in size extra small and it's a classic design and I don't know what it is with our this well about this shirt but I wore it five six times since I got it and um, every time I wear it somebody comments how beautiful this shirt is and uh, I have to I have to be honest it's um, made well and um, it's my first purchase from made well but I'm really really impressed with the quality and um, you can um, you can wear it like like this or you can um, do something unusual with or unusual and just fold the sleeves like this so it's got the more casual vibe like this as well and I wore it um, on a few different occasions um, like this as well and um, I don't know what it's with the shirt maybe it's a quality of fabric how it fits how it makes you feel but um, every time I wear it somebody comments and Madewell um, has a lot of items on sale at the minute um, on Netta Porter unfortunately this sale and this shirt is not on sale and that's something that I try to do as well if if I know it's a classic item and it won't go on sale and I really want it I will buy it full price but if it's a seasonal piece or a piece that I'm I don't think I'm, oh, it's following the trend or I don't think it will um, make um, it will have such a long life in my wardrobe I probably will wait for sale because um, it's just far too expensive some of the items are far too expensive but yeah this shirt beautiful beautiful quality and I'll definitely go back to Madewell because um, if the quality is the same it's a beautiful beautiful brand the shirt wasn't cheap i think it was about 80 or 85 pounds or maybe 90 pounds i've looked at the, the um, same shirt on madewell a website so it's an american company so you can get it in states for probably much cheaper i've seen for about 50 60 pounds um, however we if you ship from the usa you have to pay customs and um and yeah, it's it's just more convenient to order from Netta Porter. However, if you're in um, USA, Canada, Canada based, um, definitely check that, uh, check Madewell because it's absolutely amazing. And just on the same note, because I um, wore it um, with with the shirt, I show you the only piece that I've got from another stories is this metallic pleated skirt. It's about midi length. It's got this beautiful. Um, greenish emerald color and it's metallic and um, I wore it with the shirt and um, as you can see in the picture it, the color colors go really really well it makes a semi casual semi if you add heels you can probably dress like that in the evening the quality of the skirt is, is amazing and I think everything that I've, I've got from other stories and other stories um, it's been really really good quality the size I've got is um, um, European size 34 and um, USA size 4 the only criticism the only criticism I've got another skirt from another story which is pleated which is blue and I've absolutely been loving it I got it a little bit earlier than this one so um, so I, I, I won't be featuring or maybe featured that in another haul but um, I just 
don't have it with me. The only criticism, I got this one online, the other one I got in store, and um, they are more or less the same. The, the blue one is a little bit more floaty. I will link the, the blue one as well, a little bit more floaty. This one is more sort of A shape. The only thing um, in the other star, in the other skirt, the lining goes all the way down, whereas with this one, it just goes up to halfway, so somewhere here. So that is something, so just up to here. So the other, uh, this bit is without lining, and it doesn't really matter because you cannot really tell when you wear it. However, I would imagine for a price and for an um, aspiration of the brand, I would definitely do the lining up to the very end of the skirt. I think it would, it would feel better and it would feel more expensive, more luxurious, and it would wear better, I think. But, um, so yeah, so that's the only criticism. But apart from that, I've been absolutely loving this and um, it's definitely worth, worth checking out. Um, okay. And a um, few things, or maybe I do one from, thing from an H&M and then a few from um, Topshop. So one thing from H&M, sorry, um, I've got everything lined here, is this dress, okay? It's a midi, well, it's, it goes up to your knees. I'm, I'm about 5'7", um, so about 172 centimeters in height. It goes just above my knee and it's this um, H&M dress. It's got like, it's sort of a polka dot style, but it's not exactly. It's got this ruffle around your waist and it's got this beautiful detail in here and these ties in here. So you can wear it like this or you can untie and just wear it like this more casual. The material is very, very lightweight material. It creases like crazy, absolutely. So it's made out of 100% um, viscose, iron when damp. Okay, that explains why it creases so easily. So yeah, it's very, very nice summery piece and I wore it yesterday um, to dinner with, um, with a pair of heels and um, I just felt absolutely put together and, um, and yeah, I really, really liked it. The reason I got it, um, I liked it when I saw it and it was on sale. So H&M's got amazing sale deals and um, I couldn't believe, and I hope you, you won't believe either, but this dress was only £10. So um, for, for the quality of the, the finish and for the detail, I think the price is amazing. It's a very simple dress. Um, it's probably not going to make anybody go like, wow, but... Um, it, it's a good piece for £10. I think it's it's an absolute classic that will stay uh, in my wardrobe for another few seasons easily. And yeah, originally I think it was about £20 or £19.99 around that mark and on sale and um, it was um, £10. And my size is that that was that's the smallest size they do in this dress, size 34 American for USA for so yeah so that's the that's the and it feels it, it the material feel is just really really nice 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 on your skin a little bit cooling um during summer months so very very nice piece and finally is that the last one oh no that, that's top shop now <laughs> so I've been shopping in top shop and I got a few things about well, two things and there are more things that I liked but my local top shop uh, don't stock them and some of the items are uh, sold out online so it's quite difficult. So the first pair is another pair of shoes, I've been crazy on shoes and these I'm guessing will be love or hate but these are a pair of sliders um, so um, they they look very similar to the Asian Greek sliders um, they, they don't have the same luxurious feel but um, I think for a price they were about 20-22 pounds um, this is on leather, this is leather, um, the, I've been wearing them obviously, um, so this is plastic, but they do feel and um, much more expensive than they look, well, they feel much more expensive than they, you actually paid for them, and I think they looked more expensive than they were as well, and um, I've worn them yesterday, all day, extremely comfortable, and they do them in different colours, they do them in like beautiful green colour, 
and um, yeah, I saw them. I saw them on the hairdressers, um, one of the hairdressers that works in the place that I got, I got to have my hair done. And I was 100% sure that they were the Asian Greek um, sandals. And I didn't even ask her because I thought, well, I'm, I'm sure they're Asian Greek sandals. And then I popped to Topshop and that's what they were. 22 pounds, absolute steal absolutely still worth checking out exactly they fit a little bit small to size so um, I got them in 38 and they do fit um 39 was too big but they are on a smaller size so just bear that in mind and the uh, last thing from Topshop was this blouse and they were full price as well um it's this blouse a beautiful white blouse and um, beautiful details in the color and then just floated sleeves as well um, and then at the back they've got a beautiful nice embroidery over here and some detail on the front as well and um, so I got mine in size 36 a European UK 8 USA 4 and um, I could have gone for size smaller but and um, they didn't have it um, it was on sale and um, originally it was about over 20 25 pounds I think and I got mine for 15 so really really good but a nice cotton material um, yeah absolutely I think there's a tractor I hope you come here yeah I'm, I'm, I'm in a in a country south in Italy, so yeah, you can expect a tractor, so... <laughs> oh, please go. Okay, so that's the, the last um, item from Topshop, and um, so that's the, that's the shirt. And the final, final item, um, I know it's been a big, big hole, let me grab it for you. So, um, it's a match dress, okay, and then there is a story with this dress. Um, I think it, it caught me off so I'll start again. So the story with this dress is um, I had my eye on this one for um, the longest time ever and um, when um, I wanted it last season it was in excess of £250. I wanted to say just under £300 and there was no way I could justify spending um, that kind of money on, on it. And um, I every time they used to do match in Harvey Nichols in Leeds, but they, they stopped it for one reason. I, I don't know why. Um, so every time I was there, I was, I was looking at it, looking and looking. And I've never even tried it on, but I just I just loved it and admired it so much. And um, when we were going on holiday, I knew we will be passing through Bister Village. And I said to myself in a car, if they have, um, because they've got a match in Bister Village in if they if they stock this dress if they have this dress i'm going to take it straight away and they did and they had um one size one which is my size in match and um i haven't even tried it on um i've tried it on um, later in the hotel and it fits perfectly so yeah it was sort of made to be in a way um and um you know i'm a huge fan of bista village there's another bista village um sale item block um in a uh, in in my um profile so you can check it out i'll link it as well and i'm a, I'm a huge fan of bista village there's so many things that you can you can get there and 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 this dress is exact example of uh, how awesome it can be with bista though um it's so and um, for, for those that you don't know or i've never heard of it it's an outlet village um near london about 45 to an hour and um, drive from london um, oh, outskirts of London. Um, they they have an absolutely amazing um, selection of uh, of uh, fashion houses and retailers from anything like um, Dior and Yves Saint Laurent to um, Bell Stuff and um, Gucci, um, Dolce and Gabbana, uh, to more affordable like Marsh Sandro. Um, they've got Michael Kors and um, up to the uh, more high street brands um, like um, they've got um, I'm sure they've got Clarks, they've got um, All Saints which is higher end and they've got LK Bennett and um, so they've got 
a, a, a vast um, Ralph Lauren. They've got a vast selection of, of different retailers and, and everything is um, at least 30% off, if not more, of the original price. During sales, um, they do like a sale of the sale item as well. So this dress was a new arrival, so it wasn't on sale, but um, there, was, there was a rack of, of stuff that was, um, I think, 30% off original sale price as well, which is like amazing. Um, so yeah, um, so that's it really. My battery is going flat, so I have to finish. But um, yeah, definitely worth checking the Bista Village. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my haul and let me know what you think. If there's anything else that you want me to include or tell you, just, just ask me a question. I'm more than happy to answer. Check out my blog and uh, check out my Instagram account and subscribe. Um, that would mean a word to me. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you soon. Thank you. Bye.